Hello, this is Taya Gerken, contributing editor to Acoustic Guitar. And I'm here today with a very cool new Martin, that sort of a special edition guitar called the CEO 7. The CEO guitars in Martin's line are instruments that were inspired by ideas that Chris Martin had. And uh, they've gone through several different versions over the years. And uh, it, it's very obvious that Chris Martin likes to have a little fun when he's designing his guitars. Um, in the past, he, he did a CEO series that was basically a Martin take on a Gibson slope shoulder type guitar. And now, on this CEO 7, if you look at it, it's very clearly inspired by sort of a mid-30s Gibson L00. You can see by the sunburst, the body shape, um, and lots of other elements of the instrument uh, are closer to a vintage Gibson than they would be to a Martin. But of course, the guitar is made in the Martin factory, and it, it feels and sounds a lot like a Martin. So it's really kind of a cool hybrid between the two instruments. Um, let's have a closer look at it. The guitar is made with a solid Adirondack spruce top. Um, it's got scallop bracing on the inside, solid mahogany back and sides. Uh, the neck is select hardwood. Uh, it looks like it may actually be mahogany on this one. Um, the guitar has ebony fingerboard and bridge, uh, very simple appointments, uh, white binding, simple two ring white rosette, white and black rosette, uh, solid headstock, and uh, they are golden age relic nickel tuners, uh, open back. And uh, the guitar has a scale length of 24.9 inches. It's got a nut width of one and three quarters inches, and the string spacing at the saddle is a fairly generous two and five sixteenth inches. If you're familiar with uh, Martin guitars, you'll find that the neck feels a lot like uh, the necks on some of the other vintage series Martin guitars. It's got a slight V profile, but not too much that it's a really uh, pronounced V. It almost feels like a hybrid between a V and a, and a semi-rounded -round, uh, uh, back. Um, the guitar also has a dovetail neck joint. Um, and you can tell it's got the, the small footprint uh, Martin Bridge that you see on, on other vintage style uh, Martins as well. Let's have a little more of a listen to it. Um, it really has a great dynamic range, whether you play it softly or dig in a little bit. So let me demonstrate that a little. Here it is played very soft. And if I play the same thing with a little harder attack, You can hear that the guitar gets a little grittier sounding, which really kind of gets it more into that mid-30s L00 kind of a sound. But, but really, when I listen to the guitar, I hear more Martin than I hear the, the vintage Gibson sound, which is a very cool thing. It's a very unique guitar that way. Um, and of course, guitars like this can also sound great with a flat pick. Uh, so let's have a quick listen to flat picker Scott Nygaard playing the guitar. <laughs> So that's the Martin CEO 7. It's a very interesting guitar, beautiful, very nicely made, uh, really great sound. The guitar is a list price of $2,999 and it sells for about $2,299 on the street. You can read the full review of the guitar at the print or digital editions of Acoustic Guitar or online at AcousticGuitar.com. For Acoustic Guitar, I'm Taya Gurken.